Um, what was the toughest thing about making two popes? I think when I read the script, I loved the dialogues, and I said yes, and then I realized that the film was two men talking about religion. Quite mm. exciting, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Just a oh, yeah. And how to make it cinematic. So that was the big challenge. Yeah. How big was the bankability of your actors a factor in making the film? Were you at all like... No, no, I was completely free to cast. And to be honest, uh, how I cast uh, Johnson Price, I Googled when, when I signed the film, I looked for pictures of the Pope just to see how he felt. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of picture of him uh, next to, to Price because they look alike. <laughs> so oh, it was yeah. the obvious choice. Oh, yeah. So what I did, I said, well, this guy, I mean, he's a good actor. And, and I Price checked great. his work. Yeah, you're yeah. lucky it was John Price. Yeah. He's great. <laughs> and then I watched an interview with him, uh, just That's him great. being himself. Yeah. He's great. And I yes. felt he's so humble and funny. And I said he has the same kind of energy from the Pope. Mm -hmm. so Maybe simple. this guy look alike and has the same. Let's go for him. Did you have Watchable. to meet any, either of those popes? No, well, I shook hands with Pope Francis, and, and I told him, I'm, I'm, I'm making a film on you. He couldn't care less. He said, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? really? Just, yeah. What do you mm -hmm. most like about the filmmaking process, and what do you most dislike? I love editing. You do? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, actually, I think, I think I go to the, the, the set, well, I like yeah. set as well, but I mostly to grab things, yeah. so I can go <laughs> yeah. to the cutting room, <laughs> quiet, yeah. dark, That's a, and experiment. I mean, I, yeah. We always say, making the movie, it's the price you pay to get to the editing room. Yeah. Yeah. All that stuff I'm, you I'm with you, right. I'm yeah. with you. Yeah. And, and then you reward. change the whole script, you change the acting, it, you change it, everything. You, think you, think you start the film, that's when you start the film. If you ask the director, yeah. I think it's because directors by their nature are control freaks yeah. is what yeah. kind of leads us to this and there's nowhere you have more control than in the editing room there's always these variables it makes it fun and it's being quiet. a set yeah. is fun <laughs> casting a movie's fun but it's a little out of control. You get to an editing room and you finally control it all. But that's, that's the fun, all. though, trying to get control out of, out of control. Yes. That's yeah. the yeah. thing. That's yeah. the tension is riding those horses, yeah, you know? It's true. When you, you mention a, a jazz, uh, jazz, I feel like math. a jazz director. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so I have a plan when I go to the set, but then, I mean, whatever happens, I, I, every opportunity I have to make it different. When I was shooting the Constant Garden, we were in location scout and there were some camos. I said, well, it would be nice if, I, if we had some camos and we just drove by. And then two months later, the producer called me for a meeting because they're bringing camels from the Ethiopia. Oh, that's right. And the yeah, guy had a, yeah, the guy had a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were, <laughs> wow. and they yeah. they were showing me, that, I mean, this is the camel. We have eight One, or nine. Yes. It's enough oh, for 12. God. And we can yes. bring 12. And say, no, yes, please. It's just, it's just a comment. No, please. <laughs> we Fernando, you, 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 you live outside the Hollywood system. Yeah, um, and I don't depend on it, so it's great that, for me. I'm in a very so good how situation those, here. It's true, true. I'm in a very good position here. If yeah. you're a, an international filmmaker, are you in a, an easier position or is it tougher? Has that world changed too? For me, it's been easier. I mean, uh, because uh, I, I don't have the involvement. I don't have to, 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 to make people like me, you know? So I can be very... And I'm, I'm, I'm finding very good producers that uh, support what I want to do. So I'm, I'm being very independent in whatever I want to do and without having to, to, I mean, to please people around because I don't depend on, on the, you, you get yeah. this? Yes. I'm really, yeah. It's very, there's a very good thing about being an outsider mm -hmm. and wanting to be an outsider. Mm -hmm. you know, Did you ever think of moving to America? No, I have very, very deep roots in Brazil, mm -hmm. family, and, and, and I like to, 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 to direct in Portuguese. What I'm doing the last years, when I went to, to direct in Portuguese, I'm doing TV, TV series, and uh, mm. because it's different. I mean, I understand English, but I don't feel English, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you, like, like if you say mango tree, in English it's just a tree, in Portuguese, Mangueira. This is my mother. <laughs> it's 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 so much. So I have to, to direct in Portuguese talking? sometimes. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lulu Wong. My name is Fernando Morales. I'm Greta Gerwig. I am Noah Baumbach. Thank you for watching the Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtables. Roundtables on YouTube. On YouTube.